Hello everybody. If you are an active viewer and subscriber of this channel, then you already know what this video is all about. If you are new to this channel, I recommend you subscribe. Or if you are new to scam baiting, we're going to be talking about not Indian phone scammers. We're going to be talking about whoops, Nigerian government Grant scammers. Wish I can just show you my. Oh. Hold on, I'm gonna try to show my face in this. Hey, there you go. There I am. Um. Alright. Don't necessarily want my face showing. So what we're going to be talking about in this video are something called grant scammers. Just give you a few heads up, government agents will never, I mean they will absolutely never put the word agent in their name. That right there is already what you need to know about these motherfuckers. So these guys are typically always from Nigeria or Ghana or some Western Africa country. These guys can get really greedy with you. If you do not pay them enough money, they will, that they can get really angry. Okay, if you are new to scam baiting or if you're new to these kinds of scammers, if you want to be able to talk to these guys for yourself, it's actually really easy to find these guys. All you gotta do is type agent example Mark Jones. Just some two random white names. Typically they're white first names like John Smith or something like that or John James. I've seen that before. So the first thing, you, the obvious thing you want to do is never give out your own personal information. That's like asking for trouble right there. Never do that. Another thing you don't want to do is never ever send real gift cards. But what you can do is you can go online. If you find the, the right picture, you can, you, you can really fool these guys. And them actually thinking they have a gift card. What you can also do is just waste their time. Just say stuff like, oh, the post office, or they typically will do FedEx. Just say that you already sent it and do stuff like, oh, I didn't do the overnight shipping, which is what they want. A lot of times, so they will accept cash. They'll want you to go to FedEx or UPS sometimes, mainly FedEx. And they'll want you to mail it into a box, which right there is illegal to begin with. And they'll want you to do overnight shipping and they'll send, make you send that money to a money mule, which may or may not even know that they're a money mule. Another thing to do is just, that, I mean, I can probably teach you a couple little words. I'll write them out on a notepad towards the end of the video some words that I have picked up from these guys and a sentence that you can probably write that will totally piss them off. Okay, this is Agent Mark Donald. Agent and Mark are all capital. As you can see, I already... No, I haven't. Here's typically, this is how you get them. Now, if you're in the United States and you're in Eastern Time, they'll probably wake up around 2 in the morning, which I have nothing better to do than just do this kind of scam baiting. Right now, it's 2.10 in the morning. So right now, it's probably around 7 or 8 o'clock in the morning out there. So they're just waking up. So you write something like, hello. Period. I heard I can get this government grant. How can I get 
this grant. Okay, so obviously something that you want to do is play victim. Try to really get them on the line. Try to seriously... Don't get, like, the first message, you 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 want to send it something like mine, something really nice, re pretending that you're falling for their scam. And most of these guys are probably not much older than I am. Sometimes they're even as young as 13 years old. And I'm 16 years old, and I'm doing this kind of video. Yeah, some of these guys, a lot of these scammers do this stuff out of desperation, not for fun. So do keep that in mind. Even though it is wrong, they may need that money, but still, it's wrong. Scamming is wrong, and it should never, ever be done. You can see, some, some scammers can get people to kill themselves because they lost that much money, and they can never get that money back. So that's why I'm scam baiting. Because I don't want people to die from these scammers. It also makes me feel good when I when I prevent bad scammers from doing their thing. So what you can do, it's really fun to do. It's just, and you can get them with this a lot later. Is you can take this image, and you or whatever their profile picture is, and you can literally search image with lens, and what you get is this guy, Rex Tillerson. Former United States Secretary of State. If you wanna, if you wanna do some more research on this guy, you can you can go for it. I mean, his name's obviously right there. So, yeah. I mean, this is definitely our guy. He's and they typically would do this stuff. I've seen some guys rip off the CEO of Walmart. Yeah, alright, stuff like this, this never happens, That like, normally, <laughs> FedEx will never contact you like that, they will literally just leave it at your door or your mailbox, and just run off, sometimes they'll leave a knock on your door, unless it's verified mail, then they have to, a lot of these are sometimes, like, Photoshop images, like, this, I don't, like, this right here is definitely Photoshop. This is definitely not on the real... This is definitely not real, just because nobody really gets some of these grants. I mean, it says 100000 I mean, you never know. Let's just take a look for it. Got all kind of, now, I don't think I'll be able to find that exact image. I mean... And look, you get all kinds of other scammers. Agent Richard Wilson. Agent Clara Benton. So let's just message Clara Benton again. First thing you want to do is take that image and blow it up as much as you can. Alright, we're going to save as. Rundi means horror in Hindi. I can speak a little bit Hindi. So we're gonna. There's no option. Huh. Alright, we're gonna message this, this guy. We're just gonna follow him. Just give up their little hopes. Okay, this is definitely a Photoshop. Okay. You see how it says am? And I, I had, now I have friends from Nigeria who actually told me this. Most Nigerians, I'm not saying all of them, most would never put the word I. They always started with, I'm going to send you a picture of it now. So I'm assuming what happened here is one of their buddies, of this guy's buddies, sent was started texting this to his friend and he was trying to pretend like it's a he's a like a victim for a sec and you can tell this this image is photoshopped actually i don't think it's photoshopped it was scripted it's a scripted photo okay they'll also get videos like this 
Let's zoom in real quick. Wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yes, I want to thank the DHHS for the grant of $13,900. I truly appreciate it. Thank you. That's not... All right. Something you can yes, pick up really quick is that these people, I mean, they're obviously real people. This is a little bit of a... I don't know. Did these people, like, sign up for this? Did these people, like, get forced to do this? Or maybe they just randomly found these videos. Oh, alright, now it's there. Alright. Let's try, let's see what we get. Lee Gabrielle, a fucking journalist! She, this guy is ripping off a journalist. Like, whoa! Here's the here's the legit picture, like right here. She's a journalist. I mean, imagine you are one of these people and you get your picture fucking ripped off. That's kind of sad. I mean, I I feel bad for her. I don't think she, honestly, I don't think she knows. How do I message her out? Cause I want to get that fucking government grant. I want that grant money. I, I, I need that 13 grand. <laughs> nah. You know for a fact that ain't real. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Alright. Another thing you want to keep in mind is just be mindful. If you're young and you're scam baiting, just be mindful. Just seriously think about what you're doing when you're scam baiting. I, I get comments on my channel all the time telling me to be more mindful, especially back when I was, like, younger. And I appreciate that. I mean, I know there are some people who do not like kids scam baiting, and, th and this is for them. I got two of them. <laughs> okay. I really hope when I get a little older... To be able to save people from these scammers, just like the, just like, you know, Trilogy Media and Priority. Hopefully, I can do stuff like that when I get older. Legit save people from these nasty, nasty scams. So right now we're waiting on a a text back, but I will show you something. I actually have some chat logs from previous Nigerian grant scammers. Give me a moment and I will pull them up for you. But first, I want to show you what you can say to these guys. And I'll try to tell you exactly what it means, too. Okay, okay. Just give me a moment. Let me open up my notepad. This is how I'm going to be... Okay, here are the couple words. Nope, nope. Mumu. Zoom in some. There you go. Momo. I don't know exactly how to pronounce these words, but I believe this means like bastard. But it pisses them off, definitely. Odie. I was told that this word means go away, like fuck off. Weary. I'm not too sure about weary. Uh. Now, a lot of Nigerians will use a, some English. There's a, there's a certain word for this language. I can't remember what it's called, you guys. Okay, right? If you put Ogan Japa, like Ogan Japa, fuck your mom. Ogan is basically a, an evil god, if I'm not mistaken. I could be totally wrong on this. If I'm wrong, just let me know in the comments and I will get back to you. I I was told that Ogun basically is a an evil god that nobody believes in anymore. And every time I mention the name Ogun or Ogun Java, fuck your mom. And you put stuff like, Ogun Java, fuck your mom, your ass, your pups or papa. ETC. It really doesn't matter. Sky's the limit with that one. Or you could just start to say, like, 
F you, or what the hell, alright, you can say it, because eventually you're going to have to, like, crack, you're going to have to, like, tell them, hey, I've been fucking with you, you're not getting your damn money, and I get people telling me all the time that these guys are, like, gangsters, like, they can, they're dangerous people, and I don't think they can do much, knowing that, they don't really know a whole lot. My 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 profile is private to the public. Most of it is, however. Okay. Like I said earlier, I'm going to pause you guys so I can pull up some of those chat logs. There you go. Okay, oops. This is Agent James Mark, and this guy is really shitty. He has no likes. He has no friends. I did my little message. He said, This is the Federal Grant Online Disbursement. A Agent James. Ma Ma Make. Make James. Who the hell is Make? There is nobody named Make. Obviously. Now, sometimes it's also worth mentioning that these motherfuckers can, can't even say their real fake name. He says, We received your messages. That fucking one. Do you still wish to proceed with the federal grant application? I said, yes. Basically, here, he wants me to fill out a form so he can, you know, oh, whoops, my bad. That's, I was pissed off that day when I caught that. He said, all right, I said, my name is Mike. My last name's Hawk. I said, I'm 23 Elm Street, Omaha, Nebraska. Fake information. It's not even a real place. Please hold on. He needs me to, he, he wants a few minutes so he can verify the grant databases for my name and address, see if I'm qualified. Alright, kindly, I think he, I'm trying to figure out, I don't really know. He, he, here, I think, right above here. Hold on, these aren't in the right order. Okay, so I gave him a fake number. This is actually the Des Moines, Iowa Police Department number. So I was unemployed. We need this information. A lot of people lied to us and claimed to be the real person, which is not so. That's why we asked for your information. So, we can br so when we bring the money to you, we will ask you that information as a secret question to make sure you are the real person we've been talking to. We give you money and sign a paperwork. You've already received your money, okay? But I said, oh, I said, okay. Okay. These are not in order. I said, I understand. Does that have to be an Apple Play card? He says, Deferent card. What kind of card? Steam wallet card. He wants me to go get him gift cards. Because what they'll say. Alright. This guy was so mad, he started fucking spamming. Me. And now this is the guy where I picked up Ogun Jabba's. He's like, you, you mad too? Play by a 16 year old. No, I'm not mad. Stay out of YouTube. That's three scammers in one day. Ogun, okay, you and your papa, your mom are gonna fuck your mom. Ogun Jabba, fuck your mom's your papa. That's a, something else. Just give me a minute. Now this one was probably the first one I ever. Saw. Now this one's one of the. First ones I got. Sometimes when you're dealing with, sometimes these guys will have or will make random accounts. And Pleasant Green is another good YouTuber to watch about about these guys. He can he can tell you a lot more than what I can. So go check them out on YouTube. I said all right that they will get other people. And they'll say stuff like congratulations. And it's usually a burner account. And that they, they'll link you to this page. Actually, my, my friend sent me this one. Can you tell me more about the lottery I have won? My name is Agent Mark James. You got his name right. Yay! He's a fucking smarty pants. People's Postcode Lottery Worldwide Promo Department. What kind of fucking department is that? He wants my full name, Morris Lester. 
I go by Mo. Mo Lester. Get it? Congratulations. He wanted to say a big congratulations. My name was selected by Mr. Harold Mert, and CEO of Founder of the Postcode Lottery. I'll give you all a second so you can read it. Or just pause the video. I'm tired. He, at the end, he asked me, and a lot of times, these messages they send me are copied and pasted, which is why they can text you so fast. Okay, I'm ready for my prize. You have to fill out a form so that FedEx can locate your destination at the point of delivery. It doesn't work like that. Send me the form, and can I send it to through UPS? Cause the cause the nearest FedEx is over a half an hour away. He wants the form. And what's funny is that sometimes they'll ask for your mother's name. Mmm. Just give him a fake name as well. I said my name is Morris Lester. I live one one four three Main Street, Des Moines, Iowa. Uh, that's the Des Moines PD number, 229.85, which 229.85 never was a real day. Um, I'm not going to go out and dig this video out. I believe I posted it on YouTube. I don't really remember. This was back in like October of 20, yeah, October 2021. So he gets one of the videos, and I know in the video, he, she actually says, Mark James. She's definitely been brainwashed. Why don't you pause the video? 15,000 pound. I'm in America, bro. I don't live in the UK. Sometimes they will also ask you for your Facebook password. Quote. Because they want that to know if it's the real me. They want a Google Play card to verify my information. As, see, it's the stuff like this you can fuck with them with. He spent the same way. Like, no, he didn't. He wants a $500 Google Play gift card. What kind of, I say what kind of gift card, I keep fucking with them. He's... Alright, so... Huh, he asked me, alright, what kind of gift card? If he changes it to Steam Wallet. Then he asked me, how long will it take for me to get it? That's five minutes. Just fucking with him, just let him give it a little hope up. Okay, okay. That's an old video. Okay, once you get it, let me know if I can text it here. I have it. Right there it is. All you have to do is I did what just that. They need a receipt of the card. Now I am fucking with them. Then your then your mom's ass, you fucking idiot. I knew this whole time it's just a picture off the internet. Okay. He actually got back to me earlier. I knew this whole time. Never had a card. I know where you live. Part the card from the internet. You fell for it. You get a bloody job. I'll tell everybody this is a scam. He's still trying to get me to fucking get him. I don't live in the I don't live in the United Kingdom, idiot. He's trying to get me to bear it. He's trying to really trying to get me. The, uh, he's not a scammer. I'll let you have a look at these little photos. Which a lot of these are photoshopped. You get the car. I don't need the money. None of the. I said none. I live in the United States of America. You're very dumb. I, like, I do not want your money. 
I sent him. I tried. I tried to fucking get him with the grab a farling, but it didn't work. Okay. I know at one point there's a little community post on it where he says on the box, "Plush Boy Q," winning him out. I think thirty grand, and it says "United States of America." It's not plural. Well, guys, right, that's it for today. Hope y'all have a great one. I hope this really, hope y'all learned a little something. Hope y'all, um, hope this really helped you guys. Which, I mean, if you ever fuck with Nigerian scammers, you can say this, Oh, God, Jabba, fuck you and your papa. You can say stuff like that. Alright, guys. Peace.